We're here today in what is perhaps the most appropriate setting for talking about EAA's new Founders Innovation Prize. And that's our founder, Paul H. Poberezny's original airplane factory and workshop, where Paul himself put hand in mind to work to create innovative solutions to the problems that aviation faces. Our membership, the EAA members, EAAers, if you will, perhaps have more possibilities of impacting and affecting safety in aviation than any other group or community within aviation. It's the freedoms that we have in experimental amateur built that allow us to explore and innovate and design and create. And our members have a great, great opportunity to do so to impact all of aviation. The statistics show that between 2001 and 2011, over 40% of all fatal accidents in general aviation are a direct result of loss of control. Most notably, during takeoff phase and during the landing phase is when these fatal accidents occur. The EAA membership, our members, this community of home builders, stand the best chance of doing something about this. Our army of members can put pen and paper and mind together and come up with innovative solutions that can ultimately reverse this trend and truly impact not only experimental aviation, but ultimately all of general aviation in reversing this important safety trend. EAA has a long legacy of putting framework around great ideas and helping the members such as yourself bring great things to the rest of the community. This year is no exception in that we're announcing the Founders Innovation Prize, a competition for all of you to consider participation in that ultimately could lead you to winning the first place prize of $25,000. You can find all the details necessary to complete your entry on the EA website listed below. We've assembled an iconic panel of judges. Here's a message from a couple of them to tell you why this is such an important effort. Loss of control has been our nemesis in general aviation and in amateur built uh, aircraft for many, many years. In fact, it's such a high percentage of our accidents that we really need to dig in and do something about it. So we wanted to tap into the innovative spirit of our community, especially amateur builders, who test things and prove them, and then they actually find their way into production airplanes, um, use that innovation to try to solve this problem. Uh, so this prize uh, will be $25,000 for the first place winner, 10 for the second place, and five for a third place winner, be awarded during a presentation at Theater in the Woods. Um, entries have been already opened, uh, and you can submit up through the 1st of June next year. We want you to bring anything and everything because, you know, the loss of control issue is a broad-ranging set of problems that culminate in losing control of your aircraft. Everything from training to new systems, uh, designs, uh, anything you can think of that could break through this problem and start to reduce our accident rates is welcome and will be, a, will be evaluated in, in the contest. Um, we will raise the awareness of the issue. We will be thinking about the innovative ways to solve it. And in the, in the, in the process, we will save a lot of lives and improve our safety record in aviation. I know many pilots, no doubt, look at this loss of control as something that happens to somebody else, never to me. But if we're very honest with ourselves, we have to admit that there have been times in our flight career that we found ourselves not in the total position of control that we thought we were. And from that perspective, we all need to learn more and to practice more. So I'm gonna be a part of the judging team for the Founders Innovation Prize. And I'm really thrilled to do that because I wanna really see the innovation bubble up that we are so known for in EAA. Uh, I built a very easy, uh, I've flown a lot of different airplanes in my career, having been in the Air Force as a test pilot and an astronaut at NASA, I have been very, very privileged to fly a lot of different kinds of airplanes. And I always point back to the EAA as the place where all the innovation comes from. Uh, when you think about it, a composite aircraft started in EAA and uh, it's now just starting to find its way into full airframes on airliners. Uh, the first use of electronic ignition, uh, advanced avionics, a lot of things find their way into aviation in the amateur built community. So we have what it takes to tackle this problem.